I want to talk a little bit about cash flows, and uh, this is just a very brief introduction to it, but uh, we can do an in-depth analysis on this if this is something that you're interested. So when I go into cash flow, um, I can create a cash flow forecast here, and I have one that I've already created, and I can edit this, and if we take a look at it, it has a name, and it you can see that we have virtually nothing out here at the moment. And it's, uh, it, it has uh, budgeting information, and I've checked this box that says show it, uh, in chart on role center. So this, whatever I generate here, can be used on that role center. So from my cash flow um, forecast that I have here, I can go up and click this little thing that says cash flow worksheet. And this opens up a worksheet for me and then lets me do the, uh, the things that are going to populate this forecast. I can suggest worksheet lines. And when I do this, I can tell it what kind of funds I want to analyze here. I want to bring in all my liquid funds, my receivables, my sales orders, service orders if I have them, fixed asset disposals, uh, cash flow manual revenue, payables, purchase orders, all of these various things that I want. So I've checked five of these categories that I want to bring in here. And I'm just going to say OK to this. And this populates this worksheet for me with all of the information from my general ledger about uh, my payables, my receivables, all of the items that I have out here. When I'm done, I can simply pick this uh, item that says register, and it registers these worksheet lines for me. And when I go back to my uh, worksheet now, I have actually populated this worksheet with all of the information that uh, we've just posted. So if I just simply open this back up again, now you can see that my liquid funds, receivables, sales orders, all of the information that uh, we wanted to take a look at for uh, that we've populated for this is now available in my cash flow analysis area. From my cash flow sheet here, if I click on cash flow available by period, I can actually see how my cash flow is going to work out over the next few months. So I can look at January, February, March receivables, sales orders, service orders, fixed assets, all of the purchase orders and payables, all of the things that, I'm, that I have selected here. I see my net activities based upon the entries that we have uh, populated in here for these periods. And so this gives me a, uh, a nice overview of what I can expect in terms of uh, cash flow.